your vulnerability got you where you're at. So if you continue to do that, people will give you back the energy you're giving them. I love you. That was not scripted. I love you too. Do it for the love and I do it for the likes. If I sat around and waited until I felt good and ready and comfortable to film this video, I probably would have myself sitting here waiting for the longest. And you have to be uncomfortable to know what comfortable is. And this shit is not uncomfortable. But anyways, I'm doing it because this is Tasha Renee. And Tasha Renee is all about, what is it, vulnerability. I'm going to be sharing my three self-limiting beliefs that i am releasing and getting rid of and not even stressing about not even worrying about because it does not serve me that's it and that's all i was watching a webinar by lisa nichols lisa nichols is a truly inspiring motivational coach she has this five day power jam webinar set up to help you reach your highest potential basically the video was talking about your three self-limiting beliefs and talk about why you're releasing it and what you're grateful for so if you don't know what self-limiting beliefs are it's basically a belief that is holding you back from believing in yourself it's holding you back from your true potential it's holding you back from accomplishing anything that you might want to do it keeps you focusing on the negative aspect of things and it creates a bunch of excuses if you've ever been around me Tasha is I could give you a shitload of excuses for why I'm not a certain place or why I'm not doing a certain thing I am the queen of excuses and I don't want to be that person anymore I am just here to talk to you about my self-limiting beliefs and just put it out there that they no longer are a part of me because I am moving forward from them I read a quote from Mahatma Gandhi I can't remember it verbatim but it basically says man oh shit my son is waking up to be continued look at my baby boy hey hey i'm back in the same spot four hours later and i am determined to finish this video so i was talking about the the quote that i saw and it basically said that like man often becomes what they believe themselves to be so if you believe that you can do something you're probably gonna end up not doing that same thing if you believe that you can do something even if you can't do it at that moment by believing that you can you might eventually be able to do it i want to crush anything that's holding me back and i feel so pumped and motivated mind you i was so nervous for filming this i was like in my head trying to figure out like how do i say this or what to say or what self-limiting beliefs that i have and now i'm sitting here talking and i feel like one of my biggest self-limiting beliefs is that i am not good enough i'm not smart enough and i don't know what i'm comparing myself to but for me to say that i am not good enough and i'm not smart enough and it's like tasha you are more than enough you are absolutely amazing you are such an inspiration i can't say that i'm not good enough at all so i am releasing the fact I am not even the fact I am releasing the thought or the self-limiting belief of me not being enough and not being smart enough and when you think of a belief like that's something that happens from whether it's childhood or just like consistent thoughts that you have in your head that turn into a belief and the last thing I want to do is show my son that I am not pushing myself to the highest limit or pushing myself to my greatest potential so for me to have a thought to say that I'm not smart enough or I can't do this I don't want to have that out there and I don't want to put that into the universe and I don't want to have my son seeing me not at my best and a lot of times when people grow up they want to say I want to break this generational curse because I don't want to be like my parents so I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that but then a lot of times they end up being like their parents because of these self-limiting beliefs that they grew up with because maybe they're surrounded with their environment where people put things on them where they in turn make their own interpretation of it and they end up believing it and that might not be true I don't want to tell him that he can be whatever he wants to be if I'm not showing and proving the only way to, ex to execute change and to be better is to lead by example and I want to be the best example for him I want to be the best example for myself 
so one of the biggest limiting belief that I am getting the fuck away from my face is the fact that I am not smart enough and I am not good enough I'm not letting my own self-doubt get in the way from my true potential I feel like I've wasted and I don't want to say wasted but I feel like I have spent a lot of my years wasting time like I've wasted so much time I'm done with these negative thoughts and feeling like I can't do more than what I already am another self-limiting belief that um, I am releasing is my past is responsible for my future because it is not I felt like I couldn't be anywhere because of the decisions that I've made in my past and I actually had a comment on one of my YouTube videos that I recently posted someone asked me have you ever um, experienced a termination and I was like actually to think about it I've only ever had termination the follow-up question was like do I feel like that has like it's affecting like my future I honestly felt like my past decisions and everything that I've gone through in the past has affected my future and it has held me back from diving into what I want to do or stepping into my purpose because I feel like I've always failed it's made me feel as if like I am not good enough and there's always something wrong with me and I feel like that's where that stemmed from like I'm so afraid of what my future would be like because of my past but my past does not equal my future like past is already written in pen and you can't change it I can't do anything the only thing I could do is what I'm doing tomorrow and what am I doing the day after that like what am I gonna do now my past does not equal my future yes I've had multiple terminations and to answer the question that the girl asked it's like yes sometimes I feel like it's affecting my future because I felt like a failure every single time that I had I had a termination but in reality every single termination has put me in a position to be where I'm at currently hold on there's a quote that I have on my wall I want to show you what my um my wall looks like so I have this quote on my wall and it's from Lisa Nichols it says I have nothing to hide I have nothing to protect I have nothing to prove and I have nothing to defend and if you look right here it says every phase of your life and career will require a different you so that quote the part where it says every phase in your life and every phase in your career requires a different you that resonated so much with me because I truly am not the same person I was two years ago five years ago shit much less a month ago and every phase in your life requires a different you you're not supposed to be the same and that's all a part of growth and it's like you know when you sit in a pot and your shit growing you have to get uncomfortable I'm breaking the pot and I'm getting out because I don't I'm not the same person that I was then so of course every single decision that I've made in the past does not equal to who I am at this moment I am great and I am claiming it and I believe it and I know that it is true another one of my self-limiting beliefs and it's it might be superficial but to me this is something that I've said so many times is that I can't cook and by me saying I can't cook is to the point where I believe that I can't cook and this is something weird because you know how to say like you gotta get a woman that can cook well bitch I don't cook that's something that is going to change and that is something that I am working on because the last thing I want to do is not be able to provide sustenance to my body to my kids body to my family's body just go in the kitchen I read a recipe I can read I can follow recipes so there's no reason to, for me to say that I can't cook I will learn so I'm getting rid of the mindset or the limiting self limiting belief that I cannot cook because there's nothing that's holding me back from saying that I can so I can another thing that I um that I realized like I'm literally sitting outside right by myself there's so many people inside the house right now I've always been very nervous of public speaking or speaking out loud I've never really done like a Facebook live I've never been like on Instagram live I've never been live on YouTube and I feel like it's so easy for me to sit outside by myself and record on my phone I find it uncomfortable to 
make a live video and that's my fear of seeming not smart or seeming like I don't have it all together because in my eyes when I'm sitting here and I'm filming it's easy for me to go on a computer and chop up and cut out all the things that I've said wrong or all the stuff that doesn't make any sense when you see me in person like that's like a real interaction and one of my biggest self-limiting beliefs is that I'm not good at public speaking. The last thing I want is for any one of you guys to see me in person and feel as if I am not giving you guys the real me. It's so easy for me to push other people and to believe in other people. So like, why is it so hard for me to believe in myself? The way how you guys send me messages and say that I'm an inspiration to you guys, I don't know why I can't believe in myself the way that you guys believe in me. Like I legit have so many people writing for me that I need to write for myself the same way that you guys want me to succeed. Like my voice does matter and I felt so many times that my voice didn't matter because I felt like I wasn't smart enough, I wasn't good enough or I wasn't ready. And it's like if I sit there and wait until I'm ready, it's going to take forever. Like I might as well just put myself out there and friggin ride the wave the way that it is yeah i'm grateful for my experiences in the past but i'm letting all that shit go because i am making way for the new tasha renee and the only way that i can motivate and inspire people is by living in my truth and the only truth that i have is that i am great and i am enough point blank period that's the end of the sentence i am enough and i'm not gonna sit around and wait for me to be in a better place i'm not gonna wait until this lines up and like i'm done making excuses so i want to just shout out lisa nichols because she is my sister in social media she is my biggest mentor motivational speaker like she is literally the reason why i keep pushing what happened i just want to let them know that you also inspire me you're an awesome wife thank you so much like you do so much for me and I hope I'm able to return that favor. If not today, Sunday. I love you. That was not scripted. I love you too. You are definitely inspiration. Yo, yo. I just want to bring up something I want to say in the car. I don't know if you remember like a couple of years ago, I said to you, Tasha, I envision you being someone that will be traveling the world, having seminars and like talk sessions and you know, like, no. Can I cut you off for a second? I just want to let you know that shit's going to happen. Please don't tell me you just said that. I didn't just say that, oh. but so what I was saying is the fact that I have a fear of like public speaking and putting myself out there. Like, yeah, it's easy for me to sit here and talk because I'm sitting outside and I'm talking to myself, right? It's easy for me to go on a computer and just like cut and paste and like chop everything around. But for me to go outside and see people and talk to people is like, I am... Um, I beat myself up so much because I don't feel like I'm enough to be like a public speaker. And I think that's where we can help each other because clearly I love talking in front of people, but I can't do this. I suck at this. And it's like, this is me. I can just talk to myself. Yeah, like, that's what I, I feel suck. like. I'm talking but to me myself. me in front of people? I'll run it. I can push other people so much more than I push myself. So if like, if people can see that in me, I should be able to see that in myself too. Yo, the other, the other part though is like, your vulnerability got you where you're at. So if you continue to do that, people will give you back the energy you're giving them. So there's nothing wrong with you starting public speaking and be like, I'm really nervous right now. I'm really trash at this, but I'm going to try. And guess what? They're gonna be like, you got it, let's go. And then you will be fine. I'll be honest, that's how I get through every public speaking. Oh man, I really just tripped up on that word, didn't I? And the audience laughs. I'm just like, all right, yourself. moving on. Yeah, you're fine. I appreciate Love you. you. Uh, tacos you are done. Do you want me to make your plate? Yeah, I'm going to come and eat some now. So yeah, those are my self-limiting beliefs. And I hope I gave you guys three. Stay tuned for more videos of me unboxing, unraveling, trying to figure out who I am and crushing all these self-limiting beliefs because I have unlimited potential and so do you. What are some self-limiting beliefs that you are releasing and what are you going to be embracing now i want to know that thank you guys so much for watching this is tasha renee don't forget to subscribe to my channel um hit that bell so you're notified every single time i upload and i will see you in my next video bye guys it's all done now. It's all done.